just to finish up, a couple of things, a couple of takeaways for home educating families who have finished this year, you know, something to sort of help feel like you've, you know, can look at the year and know that you've moved forward. What are some tips that you would offer use throughout the school holidays that could help forecast a plan or some sort of conversations around educating next year as your kids have grown um, that little bit more? Yeah, I think it's been a very unique year. So taking the opportunity to reflect on the fact that this is a very unique experience that we've all gone through with every likelihood people are going to try to get on with their lives after March, April, when vaccines are starting to roll out. There's certainly not going to be as much protections and allowances for travel, you know, where they've limited travel. And if you've been vaccinated, you're free to go. And there'll be a sense that people are getting on with their life. How are you as a family going to navigate it, given your particular perspectives and choices and how it affects you. Um, will you be va vaccinated? Will you not? How does that affect you? Um, are you able to start doing out, out activities where you're doing these things that you haven't really been able to do this year or mm -hmm. not as freely? Um, and then how's it going to affect financially? Are you going to do more travel? How's it going to impact the family on lots of different things, including learning opportunities, including opportunities for new social engagements and connecting with people and travel and things like that. So probably just an opportunity to reflect on how the year's gone and how different it's been to other years so that you can think about your thinking and have a good dialogue about that and everyone listen to each other and so you feel connected. And um, also then moving into the future of, you know, things that can be absolutely aspirational. It, you know, I would love for this to happen you know, throw the dart way, way further into the future and say, I would love to go towards this, but what's doable, what's financially doable, what's going to be possible for us, you know, for tangible things that we can do in the short term that may allow me to have this feeling of progression. Um, but it can also be quite close to home where you're like, well, this really stopped me from doing what I wanted to do next year. That's what I want to dive into, thinking about what I really want to do. I've had this opportunity to reflect. Now I want to reflect mindfully with purpose and do it deliberately. Have another year off where I'm not running around crazy, but I'm actually diving deeper into who am I? What do I want to do? What kind of courses do I want to study? You know, what am I going to do past childhood? What am I going to do past being a parent of these children? You know, the, lots of opportunities based on the fact that you've had a whole year of being um, taken out of your routine. Mm -hmm. how's that going to set you up for a new routine in the future mm -hmm. even if you want a routine or not like have you show proven to yourself that this is a, a better way of operating for yourself or how are you going to help that in the future of, of facilitating that for yourself and your family love that well thank you tomorrow for joining me again on school discoveries and i look forward to chatting you again soon thank you okay take care bye you too bye